So the build that we're working on now is, is a system. Uh, it is going to be powering an off-grid cabin. The system is set up so that it's basically going to be powering a standard residential circuit breaker panel. The system consists of basically two 48 volt, 5,000 volt amp inverters and a 250, 100 solar charge controller being fed by 16, 425 watt uh, Trina bifacial solar panels. This system is going to allow them to basically harvest anywhere from 30 to 40 kilowatts a day in good sun when the whole system is built. The battery bank for this system consists of essentially two stacks of the Ethos batteries. Each one of these stacks is a 15 kilowatt stack of batteries. So you have a combined 30 kilowatts between the two. The Ethos battery will also communicate with the Victron Servo so that it has the ability to regulate all of the Victron components to make sure that you cannot overcharge the batteries. The batteries will send a signal to the, the Victron equipment saying, hey, we need to reduce charging rates when you're getting close to 100%, it'll slow down the charging rates to be able to slowly build up to that 100% instead of sending extreme high currents into the battery when it's at the top. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna help balance the batteries a little bit better. What we do is when a customer has a request for a system, we'll, we'll put a basically a four by four foot panel plywood. We'll lay it out. What I end up doing is I end up cutting the, uh, the mounting positions for the inverters on a CNC so that we know that we've got the right placement, lays it out really nice. And then we bring it in. We'll go ahead and wrap the plywood in automotive grade felt. And then we get everything laid out. The idea is that we build the system in-house. We configure it. We do all the programming that needs to happen. We do uh, all the configuration, get everything all set up. And then what we'll do is once everything's set up and tested, we'll then break it back down, stick everything back into the original boxes. Well, We'll take, stick the inverters back into the original boxes. Everything else will stay mounted on the board. The battery bank will then get broken back down, put back into its boxes as well, so that the customer can then transport it to their location and reassemble everything. And at that point, it will be pretty much plug and play. We still recommend that they bring in a local electrician who's going to be familiar with all of the specific requirements. If they're using this as an off-grid property or for off-grid power, or if they're using it as a backup power solution, and it happens to be some semblance of being tied to the grid, that they have a, a certified electrician that's going to be able to finish that process up for them. We often have people comment that uh, they could provide the same power with a generator in a, a backup power solution. The benefits of doing a power wall like this or, or having a backup power solution like this is that, one, it's instantaneous. If you lose power, the system is automatically going to pick up the loads in the house and make sure that your essential loads are met. So it will keep your refrigerators running, it will keep your deep freezers running, uh, can pro provide air conditioning if needed, it can provide uh, lights and water pumps and all of that. 
and because it's there because it's if it's connected properly it will just automatically step up and take care of the power requirements the other benefit to this is that you can wire in a transfer switch and a generator plug so that you can also provide generator power to this solution and what it will actually do is it'll allow the inverters to then charge the battery bank to ensure that if the weather is rainy, if you're dealing with a lot of clouds, a lot of smoke, whatever your situation is, if solar isn't a, hasn't been keeping up with your demands, then running a generator to help back the system up to uh, provide power back into the battery bank to bring it back to 100%. The benefits of that are that when you're running your generator, you can run it at the 80% threshold of the, the generator capability to be able to get the most efficiency out of the generator. If you're running a, a 5,000 watt generator and all you're powering is a deep freezer and a refrigerator, you're wasting a ton of fuel just to keep that stuff running. Even if you're cycling it on and off, if you're running a generator for two or three hours to, to bring the temperature down of the, you know, on the, the refrigerator and the freezers, and then cycling it off for, for three to six hours and then starting it back up and doing it all over again, you're still not getting the most efficiency because in the end, those refrigerators are only pulling a couple hundred watts off the system. A system like this is going to be able to keep the, the refrigerators going. It's going to be able to allow the system to continue or allow your refrigerators and all that stuff just to maintain, to keep everything running like they would if you actually had shore power coming in or, or grid power coming in to your system. It, it's an easier way to provide power. You can also charge the battery back on your time, not necessarily having to run the system at all hours of the night in order to keep things cold. When it comes down to it, this system can be used for a bunch of different settings. Whether it's an off-grid cabin, maybe you have a, a houseboat that you're looking to power, or you want a, your residence, you want a power backup system, or a, a setup to run some essential panels, knowing that if the power goes out, you're going to automatically have so many circuits running and you're going to be able to continue living without too much disruption. So this system can be set up and, and worked in any kind of situation and it can be tailor fit to whatever your needs are going to be. Whether that's you need additional solar panels because your expected loads during the day are going to be higher, we can certainly add additional solar to the mix. If you know that your loads overnight are going to be bigger, we can certainly provide more power for the on the battery side as well to make sure that the, the system just continues to function for what your needs are. To give you a rough idea of uh, what this system is going to be able to run, if you have a, a refrigerator and a deep freezer that may be running 150 to 300 watts for a, a refrigerator, uh, maybe 100 watts for the deep freezer. If you can figure out what your what your wattage in a 24-hour period is going to be, divide 30,000 by the what your usage is, and that's going to give you how many hours your particular usage is going to last for your battery bank. If you go to a link down below. We, we do have a, a blog that helps discuss all that to help you figure out what your loads are. To break it down into hours or, or time, if, if your average load was 1,000 watts, you would be able to go 30 hours without any kind of input to the system. With the MPPT 250-100 and the 16 solar panels, being utilized through the system, you're going to be able to basically recharge that battery bank in a good solar day of charging. You're going to be able to replace all of the power 
in that battery bank. The system as a whole, this is a, a great starting point in order to, to make sure that your needs are being met. If you decide or if you realize six months in after the installation that you're using your system more than expected or you you want to be able to, to remain off grid for a longer duration whatever this entire system can be scaled at any point so six months down the road a year down the road if you want to add more batteries we can certainly add more batteries if you need to add more solar we can certainly add additional solar to the mix so it's scalable nothing here in this system would have to be replaced if you just wanted to scale the system up so just for reference looking to go with the ethos batteries just keep in mind that size wise you're talking about a stack of three batteries is going to stack pretty tall so i'm five nine this gives you an idea of approximately how tall the stack is going to be and yes so this this battery bank has two stacks so we can also set these batteries up in stacks of two if the height is going to be an issue for your particular install if you are interested in finding out more about these systems you can certainly reach out to us panelsupsolar.com our email address is sales at panelsupsolar.com or you can give us a call 228-363-9121 Set up an appointment and we can certainly talk about your needs.